traditionally the approach for uh, a serious pandemic has been to make a vaccine and that's appropriate as particularly as a long-term um, project the disadvantage of programs like that is that they do take time and quite a long time much longer than we think I know the press out there would like, and people out there would certainly like a vaccine to be available immediately. We'd like it to be effective, we'd like it to be cheap, we'd like it to be able to be produced. But this is not really the reality. There are some 12 vaccines now in clinical trial, and all of them have advantages and disadvantages, which I won't particularly go into. Um, but even if a vaccine is successful, and we all hope it is, uh, for long-term uh, protection. The difficulty is that the virus will change, it will drift genetically, and it may make the vaccine useless. There's another important thing about vaccines, and that's the ability to produce so many doses. There are issues around safety that are entirely unknown at this stage with these new products. Um, um, but one of the main issues will be production capacity how much can actually be made within one year or two or even three. And certainly there won't be seven or eight billion doses made very, very quickly. It'll be a trickle at best. The other approaches with antivirals and antivirals uh, have so far not worked and people have tried uh, two or three different antivirals together, uh, sometimes together with interferon. And these antivirals are generally for other viruses or other diseases. Um, and it's a little bit of uh, potluck uh, to try them out and see if they work. Uh, hopefully um, something may work, but um, at the moment there are no um, antivirals that are seriously on the radar, although people are still doing the research, of course. And then there's uh, other drugs that are currently available that control inflammation or control the immune response or boost the immune response. And this product, AVM, 0703 is an example of this. And in a way, many of these drugs, um, which have existed for some time and are being repurposed, have really slipped under the radar. They've been hiding in plain sight, so to speak. And it's uh, rather marvelous, I think, that the AVM team have um, um, seen the potential use for this particular drug. And uh, I, I suspect it's this approach where you can take a drug to actually treat the patient um, Im immediately, uh, and particularly those with severe disease, that's going to be the most effective in, in controlling the disease and therefore adverse outcomes.